Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Fits. Today, I want to have a look at this Barracuda unit, a web security gateway 410 or a firewall. This is a physical firewall. And uh, I just wanted to take it apart. I wanted to do a quick teardown of it and see what was on the inside of it. And this is enterprise level. This is this is a competitor to Sonic Wall, of course. I just wanted to see what was on the inside of it. Man, I was blown away when I found out. Check this out, folks. This is... For the most part, it looks like standard consumer electronics. Normally, you would expect to find some kind of custom, customized enterprise software or hardware in here, I should say. But this is just um, consumer level boards and whatnot. I got two gigs, I got, uh, sorry, two stacks of eight gigs of DDR for, remember, I got this from the dumpster, folks. Come on, autofocus. No autofocus. DDR for two two thousand four hundred dim western digital black one terabyte hard drive this thing has a spot for a freaking video card in it this is a firewall and it's consumer electronics in it. and it's got an i7 chip and i'm pretty sure it's a sixth generation and it's amazing i can't believe i found this but um check out this fan the air cooling in here is really interesting. So this fan blows this way, right into the wires. I think it's supposed to feed air over here to the CPU fan. But the CPU fan isn't blowing out. It's blowing directly into the I.O. shield board. Um, I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. It's supposed to be in a server room. This is actually a rack mount unit, a 1U. I believe that's one unit. Yeah, that's one unit. There's a spot for a video card. You can put a video card in it. This is an MSI motherboard. It's an Intel chip. And you can get something like this for 150 bucks on eBay. 150 bucks. That's amazing. It's almost cheaper for me to get this and get the RAM out of it than it is to just straight up get the RAM from Amazon. I just can't get over that. Now, I believe the price on these Barracudas is actually very low because no, I don't think anyone really knows what's in this particular brand. The older brands seem to have much more dated hardware on the inside. Well, this one is definitely, wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not top of the line. It's not the best of the best, but geez, for like 150 bucks Canadian, which is what it goes for, pretty good. It's really good. Anyways, the reason that, really odd, the reason the price is so low is apparently Barracuda will not deal with these used. The company that purchases them is the one that uses them. And after that, if the company gets rid of them, Barracuda will not support them uh, and you basically won't be able to get it to run. Now, one of the things I noticed as soon as I got in here, I disconnected, I disconnected this and uh, I believe I disconnected the hard drive. Yeah, I wanted to get onto the BIOS, but I couldn't because there was a BIOS password i couldn't get through to it but anyways to get to get around that i just pulled the freaking battery i pulled the battery i pulled the battery one of these days someone who owns one of these systems are going to lose all power and that battery is going to to be done and i think it's gonna i think it might screw things up a little bit i could be wrong i could be wrong but anyways i unplugged that fan it is really loud and i really don't think it's absolutely needed i guess i'll see that soon um, but the first thing I wanted to know, with a consumer level board like this, could I get it to run Doom? Of course, we can't run Doom properly without proper hardware. So I'm going to get this sucker installed and see what we can do. Okay, so it should be said to get this going, you have to remove these cables right here. You really should remove the cables here that uh, come yaw. And then after that, um, we can get windows installed on this thing okay so as you can see inside this machine we have uh, 16 gigabytes RAM I an i7 uh, 6700 at 3.4 gigahertz we have Intel HD graphics uh, 530 and octo core let's get a baseline benchmark going here pass mark benchmark 10 you know I'll come right back when it gets, gets to the video game part Okay, DirectX 9 test. We are getting about 30 frames per second. Not so bad. Not so bad. Now, I'll tell you one thing for sure. This is definitely the fastest firewall I've ever uh, run a test on. Next up, of course, we got DirectX 10 coming in at about 6 frames per second. 
DirectX 11 test, pushing 20, 22 frames per second. Next up, DirectX 12. I've seen worse, getting about 13 frames per second. Okay, so that score is uh, is pretty good. If I could chain two of these together, it would be about as good as a Legion 7. This is, um, okay, 2,500 I got from a Z210i7 uh, with a 2,600 SSD and a GTX 1030. This is definitely the fastest firewall that I have ever uh, run before. Yes, friends, the only true question any of us have is, will it play Doom? Absolutely. Check this out, guys. I'm playing Doom on a firewall. Looks like I'm not able to play Grand Theft Auto because I don't have a compatible sound playback device selected. Huh. That's nothing a little USB to a uh, headset couldn't fix. So we only got four USB ports on this thing. I'm going to have to start using a splitter at this point. All right, we're running at 31 frames per second in mini screen mode. Corey, get in there and make me a pizza. Anyway, it's pretty responsive. Still at 31 frames per second. Definitely no lag when it comes to input. Not so bad. Not so bad. Next up, let's throw a video card in this thing since it actually has a video card slot and uh, see how good we can get. So, Fortnite plays a little bit rocky. There's definitely some glitches. The recommended settings this thing decided to go for was 30 frames per second, 66% uh, resolution, and medium uh, for all other settings. My teammates are bastards because they jumped without telling me where they were going. So one thing I want to mention is really curious that Grand Theft Auto wouldn't work until I put uh, a output, a volume output, onto this unit. You can definitely hear this fan keeping up. Can you hear that? My Xbox definitely plays this a lot better. Whoa, a lot better than this current unit's doing. Oh, I must have motion blur off. Something looks totally different. Yeah, two versus one. Anyways, my Xbox plays smoother than this. It definitely feels like it plays smoother than this. But at the same time, all that I really have running on here is the i7. Uh, but within the i7 is the GPU that takes from the RAM. And this thing has a lot of RAM. Uh, so I guess the GPU is powerful, but it's just not uber powerful. I really feel as if this thing doesn't need a fan that's so loud as much as it needs... Uh, better ventilation but i suppose this unit is meant to be in a server or in some place air conditioned then again this is my basement it is winter and it's 20 degrees celsius so all right so next up let's throw a video card in this sucker and try these numbers again Okay, so here is a look at the system after I was gaming with it. It definitely gets really hot in that one spot, so you can see why they put that fan there, but at the same time, I don't see why they put all the wires uh, going to the fan like that. Probably need to put some more speed holes into the case to uh, help air flow through. But the fact that all the air flows this way, uh, it isn't for the best. It definitely is. Oh, wow, that's definitely hot. What does this read at? That reads at uh, 40. So it could be worse, but yeah, definitely need some speed holes in that case. Okay, so I slammed the video card in there. Had to take uh, the port thing off the side. GeoForce GT 1030. We are rocking out at 30 frames per second, and uh, it looks much better full screen. It feels just a tad bit less responsive, perhaps. I'm getting 60 frames per second, which isn't so bad. I plugged in the other fan in here. You might not even be able to hear it because I got my furnace running. But uh, still, definitely a capable uh, motherboard and CPU. I'm amazed that we have it in this system. I'm just freaking amazed. Okay, so having one more look at Fortnite. I automatically, or I got it to auto set everything. It seems to still have everything at medium. I'm going to put the frame rate uh, limit at unlimited though. And yeah, let's see how we do. All right, first look in with this unlimited FPS. We are uh, between 90 
and 80 FPS so far. Yeah, so that definitely helps with uh, the benchmark scale. All it took was a GT 1030. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a really interesting find, seeing a consumer electronic motherboard hooked up inside of a firewall. I know that, yes, of course, it's easy to do it this way. I'm just glad that they did, because I have potential here. There's potential to reuse this stuff, not just toss it. It's We can actually take parts from this and use it. We could... We could uh, we can use it. It's just freaking awesome. I'm amazed. I'm blown away. I'm finding out something like this is in a firewall. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nest Tech Bits. Check it out. Have a good one. Take care of each other.